Hey YouTube, it's Marita and welcome to another edition of The Nurse Lounge. Today we are actually going to do a haul. I have been shopping now that our stores are back open and I picked up some things from Sephora, from Ulta and Bath and Body Works. If you wanna see what I got, please stay tuned. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in. Again, I've been shopping and I picked up um, some things from Ulta Sephora and Bath and & Body. And we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in and I'm gonna show you the things that I picked up. Um, we're gonna start with Bath & Body. Right here. So I picked up a few things from Bath & Body Works and actually a few candles, that's all I picked up. They are actually $10 off right now. And so I picked up the candle, uh, is it Waikiki Beach Coconut? I picked this one up and it's one of my favorite scents. I use this one all the time. It smells divine. I actually have the matching, not the matching, but I have the lotion as well. So this is something that I use in the lotion and the candle scent. I happen to love this scent right here. And then I also picked up, only picked up three candles today. Then I picked up midnight midnight blue citrus i happen to love the packaging as you know or yeah the packaging as you know they tend to um have the same scents but they just redo the label and it's blue look at that it's so pretty so you have the blue and yellow which i happen to love it just reminds me very much of summertime and this smells so great i think i'm gonna actually burn this one today and then the last one that i picked up is something that I actually seen on um, I think maybe even Nature B may have even mentioned this one but I've seen several youtubers mention the strawberry pound cake um, candle and it's in new packaging as well and I thought it smells good and I thought I would burn this one in the living room area closer to the kitchen so I definitely want to try these three candles out. I'm excited about this. They were $10 off. So they were really at $25, $24.50. And you got them for $14.50 each. So I spent a total of about $47 on three candles at Bath & Body. All right, next we're going to go into the makeup. So I picked up some makeup at Ulta first. So we'll start with Ulta. And as far as some of the makeup items, I have used some of them. So this will also be a first impression on a few of the makeup items. And I will tell you what I think of them as a first impression. So we'll start with Ulta first. I went there a few days ago. They have this cute, pretty pink bag. I only picked up three things. So we'll see, you know. And I've actually used one of them and i got the elf um oil control primer mist right here it cost i want to say eight dollars i think and i have used this let's see yes eight dollars and i used this yesterday and i love it so it's a mist you spray it on your face and you rub it in and it dries down so, so great. I mean, it's it's a great primer. I literally can spray this on my face and not have to use another primer. This is great. And you can hear, you shake it up. You can hear that. And then you're just gonna basically take it and you're gonna spray it over your face and rub it all in. I love this. First time I ever used it. I picked up a, another Morphe lip, lip gloss. I love Morphe lip glosses. And I thought I would try the shade Boho. And I happen to have Freebird, Freestyle, and Pixie. And so now I'm adding Boho to the collection. So I happen to love these uh, lip glosses. Pair this with a cute um, brown lip liner and blot or smudge it. And it's cute, it's divine. So I love this. Then the last thing I picked up from Ulta 
which I'm not sure if it's new because I have not been really shopping for makeup um, outside of the Sephora VIB um, sale that they had back in April. Um, so I hadn't really been shopping, so I'm not sure if this is new or not, but this is called the Anastasia Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. This costs $25. And I am a mascara junkie. I'm always, always, always buying mascara. I have not opened this one yet. I will not open it because I have probably about four or five mascaras that I'm actually using as we speak. And I don't want to um, waste and have it dry out. So the packaging is beautiful. It has this kind of gold or rose gold that ombres into black. Very, very pretty packaging. And I purchased this, at, it was like the checkout. If they have the checkout little stand, they have different things up there. That's where I got this at. So this was $25. And then my last stop today actually was at Sephora. Uh, Sephora finally opened up and um, our Sephora is located inside JCPenney. So they opened up today. The only problem with Sephora is, or I guess a lot of these places is they don't have testers out. So it's very hard to find your shade or what you think a shade would be. You really can't even smell perfumes. So it's kind of like, okay, you have to know what you're looking for. Um, you have to know the shades you're looking for. It's very difficult to shop because you don't, they don't have testers out. Now at Ulta, they had testers out, but you couldn't touch them. So they had them all taped down, but you could still see the colors to know what best would match you. But at Sephora, at least at our Sephora, they did not have that. And so I um, had a hard time if I didn't know what I was looking for. I wanted to buy some perfume today, which I could not because again, I'm not gonna buy a $70 bottle, $70 bottle of perfume and not know what it smells like. Um, so I picked up four things from Sephora today. And one of them, this is nothing new, but it's new to me. This is the Too Faced um, Peach Perfect comfort matte foundation um, I got this because I found my foundation complexion um, twin her name is the fancy on um, here on YouTube the fancy face the fancy face and um, when she went through a video where she had 12 her 12 foundations her top 12 foundations so I sat there and just kind of wrote down what she used because we are pretty much the same color and so she got or she suggested the mocha at least for her and this is what i have on now is mocha and i have to admit this is it looks fine here on camera because they're the lighting but without the lights it was a tad bit dark um and i think she mentioned it was a tad bit dark but the thing is this would be a great summer color for me this is not going to work in the winter um i might be able to make it work in the winter but for for sure a summer color when i'm more sun-kissed and bronzed um, but for today, because we are heading into summer, it was perfect. And it is a true comfort matte foundation. I feel wonderful. Um, it dried down great. It is great. I really love this foundation. It was $36 for this one. And again, the color is mocha. It's the color that I got. So if you are, if you are a complexion twin to me, then you should try mocha. The next thing I found, and they did not have a lot of stuff out because of the fact that they were not getting shipments. So even though there's new things that are coming out, I wanted to pick up the Fenty, the new sheer lip lipsticks or whatever it is that's out. And I think they were supposed to launch today, June 5th, but I'm not sure if that was just online or actually in store. Our Sephora did not have them out, so they think they're getting them soon. So I did not pick up any of those because that's what I really went for. But anyway, what I did find was the Baby, baby Would It Do, that, that mist or spray that she has, I found the travel size. We don't, have, we don't have the larger size, which is what I wanted. So this was $18, believe it or not, for this little bitty thing. And I used it. And I do have oily skin, but I wanted to see what this would do. I really love uh, Rihanna's or Fenty Beauty's products for the most part. And I just wanted, I always support Rihanna in terms of something that I want to try, at least in her lines. This mist right here. Oops. This mist right here. It's that purple lavender bottle. 
um, or the, I don't know if the bottle's lavender or if the actual contents is, is lavender, but it's very, very pretty and it smells divine. I've seen people spray it and they're like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. This right here, you can see I just sprayed it on and it already has more of a dewy look. I love this. I will definitely be getting the large bottle whenever our store has it, or if not, I will order it online. It smells so, so good. I picked up two more things, and then that is the end of this haul. It's a mini haul. I picked up the NARS blush in the color Savage. I do have it on right here. Um, I love it. I love it. This was an Andre Renee recommendation. I saw this on one of her videos. This is Savage 4080. And I don't really do a whole lot of blush, but when I do blush, I do like these kinds of colors. It already has some flex, some, as you can see in it right here. And so I, it's kind of like a, uh, I wouldn't call it coral, but it's, it's very, very pretty. And like I said, I actually am wearing it today, as you can see. And because it has some type of shimmer to it, you really don't need much of a highlight because you can see right here where it is glowing, as you can see. So again, I happen to love, love, love this blush. This is a great blush for the summertime, spring and summertime, but I definitely am so glad I purchased this. It was $30 for this little bitty blush. But it is definitely going on my vanity because I will be using this. I love this blush. It's going to be one of my go-tos. Last but not least, this was another recommendation by someone on, on uh, YouTube. I'm not sure who all I've seen, but I've seen several people recommend this product. And it's the Ole Harrison Glow O2, Glow 2OH Dark Spark Toner right here. I've seen so many reviews on this and people are loving this product. I think it cost me, let's see, 30 something, $29. Let's see, $29 for this toner right here. So I will definitely be using this toner. I have a toner that I'm loving right now, but this claimed, I think, to show results in seven days. It said targets fine lines and wrinkles, evens texture, which I need. Um, it says it has high potency AHAs. So, well, it's taped down. I won't open it. But yes, this toner right here is something that I am really interested to see if something I'm going to like. For $29, I better like it. If not, it's going to go back to the store. So, that is the things that I picked up today or over the past few days for those three stores. I thank you all so much for watching this video. I happen to love makeup and beauty and I will continue to do those kind of videos on my channel. Thanks again. If you want to follow me on IG, the handle will be here or here as well as in the description box and you'll see it in the banner at the top. Thank you for watching this video and until the next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.